Hi, I put together a list of 14 ways to trust your heart. Pick two numbers and let's see what you get. Number one, become your own home. Come back to yourself. Number two, thank the part of you that's swearing off of love or off of trust. Thank the part of you that says never again. That part of you is trying to protect you. So thank it and tell it. You can trust me moving forward. I will discern who is good for me and who is not good for me, who deserves my trust and who doesn't deserve my trust. Number three, begin the journey of self-discovery. You cannot trust who you do not know. So you can't say, I trust myself if I don't know myself. Get to know yourself so that you can know who you're trusting. Number four, Think of the times you overrode your intuition by trusting someone else over yourself. Those times are doors to your intuition and how aware it is of your surroundings and of what's going on around you. Number five, give yourself the compassion you need. Become your own crying shoulder. There's nothing more beautiful than that. Number six, Reflect on your past relationships when someone broke your trust and ask yourself, what is it about them that made me trust them? Is it that they gave me reasons to trust them? Or is it that I am someone who trusts others easily? Number seven, validate your own story. Tell the story exactly as you lived it. Don't make excuses for them. Don't try to justify what they did or explain why they did what they did. Tell your story exactly as you experienced it. Number eight, accept the story as it is. There is no saying, I shouldn't have gone through that. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have had to deal with that. You went through what you went through. Accept it as it is. And acceptance doesn't mean it was okay. It means you are actually validating what you went through. Number nine, go back to your childhood traumas and the conditioning that they taught you. Go back to all the beliefs that you started believing about yourself at a very young age. That's how you can change them. Number 10, don't fall into the trap of comparative pain. Don't sit there and say, well, it could have been worse. Don't minimize your pain and don't gaslight yourself out of your pain. Number 11, give yourself closure. Stop needing their apology or their acknowledgement. You know what you went through. You can give yourself closure. The closure is their treatment. The closure is the fact that they broke your trust. There doesn't have to be a reason. The reason will not take the pain away. You still have to feel it. Number 12, answer. Who are you really? Without all the labels you attach to yourself, without your job, without who your family thinks you are, who your friends think you are. Who are you? What are the things about you that you wish people would see? Number 13, keep promises to yourself. You wouldn't trust a person who constantly breaks their promises to you. So if you break promises to yourself, then can you really say, I trust myself? Number 14, forgive yourself and forgive them. It doesn't mean what they did was okay. It doesn't mean you're proud of what you did. It just means that you say, I trust that I will be able to move on from this. I don't want to be stuck to the person I was before or to the pain that someone else put me through. I trust that I can get through this and lead the life I want and know I deserve. If you want to read more on the topic of trusting yourself, go read my script original, Trust Your Heart, Lead Your Journey to Self-Discovery from Within. You can both read it and listen to it in my voice. I will leave a link to a free 60-day trial to Scribd so that you can have access to this book and at the same time have access to so much more content that will change your life. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for listening and have a lovely day.